I'm recording the screen and I'm going to go to four seasons in one day. Okay. So you can see there's an E minor here. I'll make myself as big as I, as I can in the screen. So you can sort of see both screens together. Let me just explain this for you. Okay. So E minor, then there's a D slash F sharp chord. And then there's a G. What the hell is a D slash F sharp? What it means is that it's a D chord, but the bass note is an F sharp. Whenever you see a chord like that, it tells you that all the fifths and the thirds and everything like that relate to the D, right? But the F sharp is the bass note. So usually what it means is that you'd hang around on the F sharp, not on the D, because you're a bass player, right? In this song, you're only on that chord for a second. So literally when that comes in, you play an F sharp. So the chord the guitar player are playing is Four seasons in one day Yeah, you need a man I'll go back a bit actually. Yeah. Four seasons, four seasons in one day Lying in the depths of your imagination Worlds above the world below Sunshine on the black clouds hanging over the domain Even when you're feeling warm Right, so it's an E minor It's a D slash F sharp which means you do an F sharp and then it's a G then it's an A minor. A minor slash six, just an A minor. So what I would do here, you've got an E minor, you've got an F sharp, and you've got a G. They happen to be the first, second, third, right, well, first, second, minor third. They happen to be those first three chords. So four seasons in one day. That wouldn't be a bad way of going. Then you've got an A minor. You can, you've got quite a long time on an A minor to, to do some cool stuff. Lying in the depths of your imagination. When I say cool stuff, you wouldn't want to do it too cool, right? Because there's a singer singing over that thing. So you'd kind of want to do something which complemented the singer. And you can often listen to the rhythm of the singer. You might want to go, lying in the depths of your imagination. Something like that. That wasn't actually good. Light in the depths of your imagination. Something simple. Same thing here. Um, B minor. Even when you're feeling low. Warm. C slash G. So the same thing principle works. It's a C chord. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Except G is the opening note. That's a G. So you might go something like this. If you're doing the third, fourth, and fifth, they're of the um, C chord, not the G chord, yet you want to start on a G chord because it sounds cool. Um, that goes on and on. Same thing with this one. Blood dries up like rain, like rain. Fizz. So you could do a G there, it'll sound cool, but all the thirds and fifths work on the C. Um, anyway, that gives you a, an idea. I'll just quickly just go through what I said again about the first, second, thirds, fourths, and whatever. So if we're on, say, A, that's an A. One, two, three, four, five would be a major. And for a minor, it's exactly the same. You just drop the third. And it just, you play it this way. One, two, three, four, five. C and A minor are relative. So C major and A minor is the relative minor, which means that they share all the notes, basically. They're kind of the same thing. Um, it's also cool to think about octaves. We didn't really talk about the two, three, four, five. That's the octave. So it's often cool to, um, to do the octave as well. There's also sevenths and sixes, but we're not going to do them just yet. Uh, okay, so let's stop this dude. Maybe stop it. Let's stop it. Cool, stop that.